Hi all, the end is near. The Muppets are in danger at Disney's Hollywood Studios. That's right folks, Muppet Vision 3D, as well as the entire mini Muppet land surrounding it, is prime real estate for replacement. Now, when you're talking about Disney, it can be tough to necessarily point out to a ride and be like, oh yeah, that's next to go for sure, especially seeing rides stick around for so long. But there are many signs pointing to the Muppets' demise. It's the Muppet Show with our very special guest star. Only 15% of you guys subscribe to the channel. Do you know how embarrassing that is for me? I can't even show my face around these parts. So if you want me to make more videos this month, I suggest you do so. The one thing that's become glaringly obvious is that the Muppets are sandwiched right in between Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and Star Tours, effectively being right between the two Star Wars quote unquote lands in the park. Meaning that although Galaxy's Edge could expand into other places, they have some expansion plots still that they can go to, and they also have the parking lot behind them, it still makes Muppets the most appealing option for expansion because it would connect the two existing Star Wars areas. Now Disney has a lot on their plate already, with Animal Kingdom and Epcot both in desperate need of additions, and Hollywood Studios just getting a ton of additions over the last few years, it seems like they probably will not turn their head back to Hollywood Studios for quite some time. Effectively meaning that if this were to happen and Star Wars were to swallow up the Muppets, it probably will not happen for a while. However, given the scenario, it seems pretty much inevitable. However, do not for a second think that the Muppets are off the hook. There's another reason why the Muppets could still be biting the dust sometime soon, even if Star Wars decided not to take it over. And that, my friends, is because of the ride system. It is a 4D theater attraction, which, quite frankly, are becoming a dying breed. With Shrek 4D just recently closing at Universal with the expectation that it will not be replaced by 4D theater, these ride systems are quickly becoming antiquated and are no longer living up to the quality standard you expect from a Disney or Universal park. Simply put, given all the technologically advanced and intricate screen rides that both Universal and Disney have been putting out for the last few decades, the 4D theater just no longer excite guests. It is an antiquated ride system compared to all these new additions that have been added over the last few decades. Now, you may be saying, well, that's not really a good reason. I mean, Disney just updated their Philhar Magic 4D theater show with a new scene from Coco. So that must mean that they're not looking to get rid of 4D theaters. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> you gotta remember what situation Magic Kingdom's in. Magic Kingdom has a terrible overcrowding problem. They do not have enough attractions to accommodate all the guests that show up to the park every day. So having a 4D theater makes a lot of sense because it is a people eater. It keeps people out of the rest of the park. Now, sure, Hollywood Studios can use that too because really they just have a lack of attractions. There's not enough for people to do. So still having a people eater at Muppet Vision is helpful, but I think in the long term there's a better solution. I think Disney understands this too. Now you may be saying, but attraction ideas. This ride holds historical value. It is the last standing version of Jim Henson's final Muppet film. And you bring up a good point, but you gotta remember that in this day and age, you can access Disney movies easier than ever before. With Disney Plus, every single Disney movie is at the tip of your fingertips. With Disney Plus, as soon as this ride closes, they could slap that film right on there and will be enshrined forever where anyone can view it, even if they can't afford to go and visit the theme parks. And I know it might not necessarily be the most ideal way of viewing it. You might not even be able to watch it in 3D. I get it, but Disney does not care, okay? They'll take whatever loophole they can, and I think that this is a pretty reasonable uh, solution, I think, to the problem. So let's say this does happen, right? The inevitable becomes true, whether it be in 5, 10, 15 years, I think there's a good chance they could happen as a response to Universal's Epic Universe to expand the Star Wars land, but let's just say it does happen. What's the future of the Muppets? Do they have a chance, or is it the end of the road? Well. I have a proposal to save the Muppets at Disney World. And I think this is both a realistic solution as well as a solution that can work well for Disney and would also be something that I think most uh, of the visitors would quite frankly enjoy. But before I get to that, let's kind of run through some numbers. Are the Muppets even still popular enough to be worthy of their own attraction at Disney World? That's an important question, right? Because if Disney gets rid of this land, what's the incentive to build another one? Why not use a different property? Well, take a look at these numbers. Compare it to Avatar, which they just built a whole land for in Animal Kingdom. They're basically about equally popular over the last five years. How about Indiana Jones, a property that has been rumored to potentially get its own land in Animal Kingdom? Well, Muppets are way more popular than that. 
How about Tron that's getting a new ride? Muppets way more popular than that. How about the Tower of Terror, the most popular ride in Hollywood Studios? Hey, it's more popular than that and the Twilight Zone. Did you hear? Zootopia is getting a new land in Shanghai Disneyland, and that land is rumored to potentially be coming to the States. And guess what? Muppets are more popular than Zootopia. So, bottom line is, even though the Muppets have not received a whole lot of new media over the past five years, they are still more popular than a lot of other properties that Disney is either currently building new attractions for or is thinking about building new attractions for. Now before you say, oh, but attraction ideas, you're nitpicking here. Um, okay, yeah, sure. They're less popular than Star Wars and Toy Story. I admit it. But does it really matter? Well, I just showed you a bunch of evidence of them being more popular than a whole bunch of other properties, so therefore I think there's enough reason to say, hey, they should stay in the park and should get a new attraction if their current Muppet land needs to go in favor of Star Wars or something else. So here's my proposed idea. Sure, you could bring the Muppets to any of the four parks, right? Pretty much any of them could use another addition, so it makes sense, and I think the Muppets could theoretically fit in any of the parks. However, I think the best place for them to go would be to stay in Hollywood Studios because there is some prime real estate in this park that really could use a new attraction that really should have been replaced probably a number of years ago and quite frankly I do not understand why it's still here and that is Star Wars Launch Bay. This Star Wars shopping center is still standing even after Galaxy's Edge has been open for another years now. It really makes no sense why it is. I mean, probably 90% of the stuff you can get in Launch Bay, you could get in Galaxy's Edge. It really makes no sense why this is still here. And in a park where I would argue you still need more attractions, this is a perfect spot to put a new ride. A ride that I am nicknaming the Triple Threat of rides. The ride that covers Disney on three grounds. One, you get your Muppet ride. Two, you get to bring back an old ride. And three, you don't even have to retheme the area. Yes, I know the area outside of it is not particularly great, but guess what, Disney? If you want to save your money and not retheme the rest of the area, you could do so. And you could keep both the Little Mermaid show and the Disney Junior show intact with this new proposed idea. The idea would simply be to resurrect the old Muppets Great Movie Ride idea. This was a concept that Disney had a long time ago to potentially build in Hollywood Studios alongside Muppet Vision. The idea being that it would be very similar to the Great Movie Ride except you would have Muppets characters in all of the classic famous scenes from all these old movies. Not only would this make the Great Movie Ride a whole lot more comedic, but it would also make it entertaining even for kids who were not familiar with the older films. At the time, it made sense to scrap the idea, mainly because you didn't want to have two great movie rides in the park. But now that the great movie ride has been closed since 2017, it makes perfect sense to resurrect this idea. Not only would you keep Muppets fans happy by keeping the Muppets around in the parks, but you would also keep just Disney fans in general happy because you get to bring back the great movie ride and you know that Disney fans love their nostalgia so getting to bring back that attraction would be massive. You could update it with properties that you actually own whereas the old great movie ride featured several MGM properties that you do not currently own. You could just use Disney and Fox properties to fill out the rest of the attraction. On top of this, you would not have to touch Disney Junior or The Little Mermaid. How and why? How do you get away with this? Just make the land a puppet themed land. The Little Mermaid show uses plenty of puppets, as does the Disney Junior show. And of course, guess who is a puppet? The Muppets! So you have a puppet mini land there, effectively, without you having to spend any more money on the surrounding area. You're welcome, Disney. I'll take my check in the mail. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you. Good night. Goodbye.